In 2017, 6 million Americans misused controlled prescription drugs, according to the Drug Enforcement Agency. A majority of abuse prescription drugs coming from family and friends and often found in a medicine cabinet. They're used recreationally in the beginning, they're used accidentally in the beginning, and then that stocks down, you know, a, a path of addiction, unfortunately. Nashua Police has a drug collection box in its lobby 24 hours a day. However, with another massive turnout expected this weekend, they'll close off the lobby because one box won't be enough. Instead, they'll set up stations behind the Conway Arena at the DPW garage. We treat it like a drive through So you come in the back of the building, you drive right through, you see me and a couple other officers, you drop off whatever it is you have anonymously. Uh, we'll take as much as you have and out the other side of the garage you go and uh, on to the next person. In Lebanon, police set up a drop-off area at the city's aging resource center. Just think about how many lives you could be saving down the road. You know, one bottle of oxycodone and one bottle of Percocet or any of these things could save countless overdoses down the road. These people don't get, become addicted to them. Since 2010, the DEA says the program has collected over 10 million pounds of prescription drugs. This is an opportunity for parents to talk to their children about why they're taking the time to empty out their medicine cabinet and what it all means, what it means to New Hampshire, what it means to the country. I mean, we're losing close to 77,000 Americans from a drug overdose. We have to make sure we're having these conversations at home. And you can drop off your unused or unwanted prescriptions at more than 130 locations across the state. Find the ones closest to you on the State of Addiction page on WMUR.com and our mobile app.